Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Planets Through Ascendant series. And this week we're going to be covering Sun in the fifth house in the sign of Aquarius for Libra Ascendant people. And what happens when Sun, ruling the 11th house, is sitting in the fifth house in the sign of Aquarius and Sun rules the sign of Leo for Libra Ascendant in the 11th house. So this is different from just sun in a certain sign, sun in a particular house, because now we're combining the two things together. And now sun also rules a certain placement in your horoscope. So <clears throat> as always, if you do not know where your sun is placed in your horoscope, uh, what are the planet pla planetary placements you have, all your other astrological details for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology, Conjunction, Aspects, and Mahadashas at the Speed of Light, including all my consultations and readings at this link. So, <clears throat> Sun in the fifth house in Aquarius. Woo! So, as you know, for Libra Ascendant person, Libra, Venus, has given Sun the 11th house. Because Libra person likes status. They like to have connections with people who are higher up in the food chain. The financial food chain. The Libra people are always like to have friendships, network circles, professional acquaintances who are executive, politically connected, who are, you know, uh, king of their industry. People who are very dynamic, creative. Because Libra is a sign that likes to feel secure through relationship. So Venus is like, hmm, I'm going to give Sun the 11th house to rule. But also, if you notice, uh, if you do not know Vedic astrology, is Sun also becomes something known as Bhadakesh for Libra. And Bhadakesh means obstruction. It somehow obstructs things. It somehow gets things stuck for a while somewhere. So now Sun is directly opposite seventh from itself and 11th house represents as i said your network circles people you know professionally i wouldn't really call 11th house your friends anymore because of the fact third house is actually now your friends why where are your friends now where do you communicate with your friends in the third house social media networks online websites that's where your friends exist 11th house is just a house of your support. People who can support you somehow give you opportunities in life. And these are the people who kind of help you go to, you know, the higher ladder in the success, ta uh, success table. But third house is more like the people that you like to hang out with. People that you like to forget about your work, actually. So third house is actually your friend. So 11th la house which is lowered by sun is now sitting in the fifth house what is fifth house fifth house represents children education arts media creativity cinema performing arts speculative games politics consulting many many other things so first of all fifth eleventh lord is now in the fifth house in the sign of aquarius which is a very eccentric sign very unique sign very dynamic sign especially a sign that likes to do things in a very unique manner. It's a sign of the collective consciousness about the collective. Like, okay, I need to get everybody together to do something in my life. So here, first of all, shows that you like to create friendships and network circle with people who are either in the entertainment industry or in the scientific field. You always tend to make friends with people who are very eccentric in nature. Because you are eccentric in nature. You are friends with people who just, you just can't figure them out. Like, is this person a very angry person, happy person, sad person, motivated person, ambitious person? Because they're everything in one. And they will show little tidbits of everything at any given moment. This is the person that finds great joy 
in teaching their children about science, technology, about how to be innovative, how to like improve the world. But also sun hair will create delay in having children. Why? Because remember, sun is the 11th house, which is obstruction house. Bhatakesh for Libra ascendant. Each ascendant has its own obstruction house and a sign. So shows here, sun, because it's so hot, such a hot planet, and sitting in the enemy sign of Aquarius, which is co-ruled by Rahu and Saturn. So here's sun, because wherever sun sits, remember, it kind of burns the significance of those things. So being in the 11th house, it'll show that people will get children, children late in life, like in their early 30s or mid 30s. And shows that through the birth of your children, your gains will start coming in, all your hopes, wishes, desires will happen. This also shows you're very conservative with your investments. But at the same time, you're not. Why? Because this is a very eccentric personality. At one minute, like the one year, they do not want to invest any money. Next year, they're investing more than 80% of their wealth in some investment. So again, you can't really say, well, you will or you will not do it. A lot of other factors will go into this. And usually a person would be greatly interested in attaining education in fields of science, technology, new age technology, um, fields related to physics, theoretic physics, especially if Mercury and Saturn are kind of supporting the fifth house. This also shows that your elder sibling gets involved in raising your children or they always, you know, your children are always kind of learning things from your elder sibling. This also shows because son, the significator of father, authoritative figures is now sitting in the fifth house shows perhaps your father had a huge role to play in the education that you chose in the type of uh, title that you have now in life. And because the 11th house is the Bhavad Bhavam of the 6th house, meaning 6th from the 6th, it becomes the higher self of the 6th house. So it shows this person is all about, you know, bringing the world together, going towards Nonprofit organization, NGO, UK, social welfare, social reform. So if sixth house actually just represents a nonprofit organization, eleventh house represents like standing in front of UN with all the leaders and talking about you know world economics and, and environmental science. So these people are big and using their creative side to help society. They become very creative in how to you know, change an organization, change a society. But obviously other planetary placements have to support certain tasks, whether this person is going to be in science, technology, social uh, work, or all of them together. But it's just that you yourself, having the sun, naturally become a very, very keen person towards attaining knowledge but the thing is your basic education basic education always tend to be give you a lot of breaks or you'll just have a hardest time to trying to get your basic education but if you go for a postgrad education higher education that'll be easy depending upon how your ninth lord is because now it's not obstructing your ninth house it's obstructing your fifth house okay so guys, this is my analysis of uh, Sun in the 5th house for Libra Sun and people. If you're new in my channel, subscribe below. Again, if you want to know where your Sun is, all your other planet replacements, my books, reports, consultations, for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with our conjunction video. Bye-bye.